Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelated Del Paulo. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you guys are doing well. And today marks the 201st anniversary of the Battle of Waterloo. So to remember this historic moment, we are going to witness the Napoleon Total War version of this battle. So obviously this is a historical scenario. It's an online battle replay, a 4v4. So eight players total, which is a crazy amount of players because the armies are not massive. So each player is commanding about four to seven units so it's really cool it's like a sub commander kind of battle and we really got to work together to achieve victory you know march divided fight united so i'm pretty sure most of you guys know the backstory or the history of the battle of waterloo uh, napoleon is back the master of offense he is returned from exile and he wants to lead his french uh, empire to victory and then waiting on the other side we have the master of defense we've got duke willington or duke of willington and he uh, wants to hold at this very defensive position at Waterloo. Now the battle goes on for some time and then the French or not the French, I'm sorry, the Prussians show up to save the day and kind of ruin the party for the French. So it's a very famous battle. It was so famous and so important, especially to Great Britain, that they gave a medal to every single uh, soldier that fought in the battle. Kind of like in D-Day, they gave medals for, you know, being a part of D-Day. So very, very important battle to Europe and a very interesting one. So let's go ahead and check out these army comps. We will begin with the French. Actually, by the way, guys, I'm commanding one of the uh, French armies. Uh, so I don't really know. I can't tell you for sure like what units and it's kind of difficult to tell like where one army begins and one ends. So we're just gonna look at each army as a whole. So starting with the artillery, we have one six pounder foot artillery. We have two units of the 12 pounder foot artillery, two units of the six six pounder horse artillery and two units of the eight pounder foot artillery and the very last artillery piece is way back here lots and lots of artillery we've got the atelier a cheval and then moving on to the infantry uh, this is like the heart of our army right here the six units of fusiliers of line and then moving on over here we've got about two units of skirmishers the uh, chasseur the uh, you know the hunters and then we have two units of the grenadiers of line and I believe actually Actually, you know what? We've got more troops in the reserve. This is like Napoleon's reserve over here. Uh, the old guard. So a couple units of old guard and I believe some young guard and some more uh, oh, more young guard over here. So this is like the uh, elite reserve. And then moving on to the cav, uh, I think one player was commanding most of the cav. And he was also commanding this general right here, the Elon. Uh, so his CAF force, he's got a couple units of French Lancers here. He's got one unit of Dragoons. They look so awesome. So, so great of uniforms. And then he's got the Cuirassiers over here. Very nice. A very nice uh, steel like armor there that looks great. And then he also has the Carabiners. So fantastic. Uh, this is another general. We got Ney over here. The Napoleon secondhand man. Looking great. You're looking great, Ney. You're looking great. And then, of course, Nap Napoleon's back here. My general was just general staff. I, I do believe I have a special general. Uh, but, yeah, it's just under general staff, unfortunately. And then I think this is uh, some, yeah, Grenadiers of Cheval. This is like Napoleon's uh, cav force right there. Or the player commanding Napoleon was in command of that cav unit. All right, so that's pretty much it for the French. Let's move on to the defenders, uh, Great Britain and Prussia. So they're bringing a decent amount of King German Legion foot uh, they also have some foot guard we got a couple of the foot guard uh, located inside the uh, the houses here in the defensive houses and then he's also got the uh, the Brunswick line infantry they look really cool the black and like baby blue uh, trim there looks fantastic and then uh, we got more foot guards uh, just some foot in the uh, more King German Legion Let's see here's the foot over here and then I believe the the this flank over here is mostly like the Dutch forces. So we got the the 42nd foot, the Black Watch, and then here here are the Dutch forces, the Dutch flankers right here and then we have William the second Prince of Orange fantastic title uh, we got six pounder foot artillery I think he's got like three units or Great Britain has three units of six pounder foot artillery and then we got some Dutch line infantry there was a lot of Dutch in this battle we have the Dutch light dragoons and we also have some light dragoons over here some standard dragoons in the back here 
and then uh, some King German Legion Light Dragoons. And here, of course, is Duke Willington. Let's just go ahead and get a zoom in on Willington there. Look at, look at, he's smiling slightly. He's, he's feeling good today. He, he, he smells of victory. Here's some horse guard. These guys are really good. All right, so let's move on to Prussia now. Uh, Prussia has a fairly reasonable size force. I uh, brought two units of Musketeers. Uh, I believe two units of the Landwehr. And he has one unit of the six pounder horse artillery. Here is Geb Gebhard von Bluch, uh, I believe it's Bluchia, I think it's how you pronounce it. Very cool, looks looks kind of like the uh, the real guy. And uh, for, for Cav, he has some Dragoons and Hussars back here. So that's the army comps, guys. We can finally begin the battle of Waterloo. Now, the person who was in command of this battle and in command of Napoleon, I, I guess he was a pretty experienced player. At least he's played this uh, scenario before. He wanted us to attack very aggressively and to take these buildings uh, with our infantry. Don't shoot at them with our artillery. Use the artillery, or yeah, use the artillery to go after enemy infantry and cav. So we're gonna go ahead and push forward, and I'm gonna be one of the first ones moving into the front lines. There we go. Here comes the uh, 12 pounder already hitting that uh, position. Oh, look at this. We've got some Jaegers that were hidden in the trees. I forgot to show you these guys, or I didn't see them. So I mean, I still forgot though. Uh, but yeah, they're ambushing us in the trees So pretty solid position nice scouting position there So I'm gonna go ahead and move up my lights to get them in position to fire back and it's a very nice You know forested little patch here So we do have some protection come on form up guys get some pop shots uh, I really wasn't gonna do a line battle against these guys I was just, I was just gonna push forward my fusiliers of line and get them into melee so there we go, charge, charge, come on, bayonets, get your bayonets ready! It's time to get them bloodied up. Bloody bayonets, here we go, charge in, and we're gonna, we're gonna face these, yes! There's that cheer, that French cheer. And we're gonna fight them in melee, fantastic. So skirmishers, usually not that great against line infantry in melee. Uh, the rest of my infantry is pushing forward over here. Uh, so yeah, like I said earlier, most of my forces are located right here. Uh, but what is this? We got some grenadiers. It looks like they're going for a su suicidal charge. Oh, and artillery is shelling this position. But he's going to go for that, uh, that that house right there and try to take it out early. He's got this nice ditch that is protecting his men from the uh, the volleys from, the, from Great Britain's uh, foot back there. Uh, so he's going to be able to get to this house without losing too many casualties. There they go. They're going to get in there. They've already uh, joined the melee. We can see in the uh, little courtyard over here. Nice fight. Come on, Grenadiers. We got to, Really, the goal here is to take out this uh, Great Britain's victory, position before He's Prussian so shows up. Uh, Prussia shows up Prussian. You know what I mean. And don't look at that balance of power. It's glitching out. It does that for the Battle of Waterloo. I don't really know why. Uh, but these are my skirmishers right here. I'm moving them forward to try to skirmish some of those, uh, those uh, foot line infantry back there. And I've got uh, the Fusiliers of line right behind them to support them. And there we go. We defeated those uh, Jaegers. No surprise there. And this is where now I tried to do my suicidal charge for this building. Again, we're trying to take it out as quick as possible. But unfortunately, unlike the Grenadiers of the line, my men are taking heavy casualties. I've got more line infantry forming up over here. Or I believe this is my allies line infantry trying to put some suppressing fire on the flank of the foot guards. And look at this, guys. Oh, why are they stopping right here? Keep charging. Get your bayonets ready. Let's go in there. I guess they're a little uh, they're a little scared of the uh, foot guard who are using it as a defensive position. There they go. They're charging in. Uh, what is this, guys? We've got an epic cab fight taking place over here. Uh, artillery firing down on this position and we got more cav joining in ah the french lancers uh yeah we definitely have some uh, friendly fire going on uh, a lot of a lot of players were like just stop firing at my cav please don't do that uh but we are defeating the light dragoons of great britain so that is a nice early start with the cav and we can look at Prussia here. Prussia's already moving down onto the flank. So, again, we need to quickly advance, quickly take out this position before the Prussians show up. Oh, it's got some uh, hunters over here. Not really a good angle to the front lines. Uh, but, man, look at all the smoke and the dirt rising from all the, uh, the artillery crashing down. Uh, the Fusiliers of Line still going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Uh, unfortunately, my men are running. I have my, uh, my lights that I push forward on this side. But I still have my Fusiliers of Line. 
Oh, come on, guys. Fire back. Come on, guys. This is not an execution. This is a fight. <laughs> Let's do this. Come on. Uh, but my ally, this is uh, the young guard already uh, joining the battle. And I'm actually focusing a lot of my artillery on this unit of King German Legion. Let's see if we... Oh, there we go. Yep, yep. You see that cannonball come in? Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to try to take out this flank. And this is a really, really good position for Great Britain. And this is why we have to take it out. Because if we can punch a hole through here, then we can get behind their lines. Uh, but here's a nice bird's eye view of this battle. Uh, I've got now my grenadiers in the in the fight, so I was able to uh, sacrifice my uh, my uh, my line infantry and then get my grenadiers in there without losing too many casualties. So we got a pretty intense fight in this house to take control of this house. Oh, my general is under attack. That's okay. I'm gonna move him out of that position. It looks like he's someone's trying to snipe him from afar. Oh man, this battle, this, it's pretty like fast paced. I, w I mean, I'm not used to that for Napoleon battles. Oh, uh, we can see the old guard now joining this battle already. That is not good for the French. Whenever the old guard have to join the fight, you know things are uh, looking pretty bad. Uh, this is like my last unit of Fusiliers of line. Uh, it looks like they're going toe to toe with the foot back there. Uh, let's go ahead and see the point of view of uh, Great Britain here. Also, this battle seems a little, like, it's stuttering here and there. I don't know if it's just, the, like, the historical scenario or what. Uh, but I believe we have some foot guard. Is he trying to get inside this building? Uh, but those Grenadiers of Line still doing an epic melee for control of this position. You can see him in there. Oh, buggy looking. Glitching out. So a very uh, bloody uh, fight taking place there. The artillery still up on these wall, uh, walls on the hill, firing down on our French position. And what do we have over here? It looks like we got more cab going in. Great Britain sending in their dragoons, uh, but the French, uh, I don't know, is he gonna is he gonna take on those dragoons or is he gonna fall back? I believe he's gonna fall back. He's not going to engage. Uh, at least not yet, but the Dragoons are going to continue to commit over there and try to chase them down. I think the French Lancers were trying to get behind Prussia, but Prussia is getting closer and closer. Let's see, why are, they, why are these guys breaking? I guess they were in a, in a fight, I assume. Uh, but yeah, Prussia pretty soon is going to be right in our face. We got more French cab just kind of waiting in reserve over here just in case Prussia gets here quicker than we anticipated. Uh, but, oh, okay, this is where things are, most of the action is right here. The, the old guard firing from the, uh, the, you know, the floor of this position, this, you know, lower terrain up on the hill. You can see, oh, whose ally? Someone's allies. Oh, my God, artillery killing the, uh, the general here. That was some really, oh, that was, uh, D. Elon. He is dead. And now the horse guard are getting into the fight. Oh my god, the artillery is trying to snipe out the horse guard. You can see just men flying off of their... Oh my god! Flying off of their cab there. That is very terrifying. Oh, he's using canister shot. Oh, fantastic. He's going to try to take out this this cab unit. Come on, quickly. Oh, canister shot. Getting a couple hits there, but he was able to use the ditch against it. And now I'm sending in my general on this side who's almost getting hit from friendly canister shot. I'm going to sacrifice my general because at this point in the battle, I only really had artillery and a few couple men of, like, Fusilier of line. So I'm going to try to help out the uh, my allies' artillery and try to take out this cab, this very brave horse guard who's trying to take out our our artillery positions all right so here we go oh we killed another general oh that was my general charles all right so we got a pretty intense melee over here also we have the grenadiers of a cheval or grenadiers of cheval uh, charging in so this is a very tough very gruesome melee taking place here the battle lines are still going on on this side we also have a charge here right in the center of this battlefield Fusilier, or actually Young Guard against the uh, the Foots here. The Young Guard should win this engagement. And the British are soon to lose their position. We got the Young Old Guard now coming to help the Young Guard. Oh, an artillery coming in. Gotta watch out for that artillery. There we go, they break. And now the French have controlled this position up here. Great Britain is not looking too great. They are pretty low on line infantry. We do have the uh, 42nd foot, the Black Watch. Uh, we have lots of artillery. He needs to quickly turn this artillery and use canister shot. Uh, but for now, it looks like, it, well, it doesn't look good. Because the Grenadiers of a Cheval, Grenadier of, Grenadier of Cheval, whatever, charging in. <laughs> Words are hard. 
And also we have uh, some cuirassiers, uh, cuirassiers charging in to the artillery position. So the French player really using his cav for the final moments. He was waiting so patiently to break through the uh, the British defenses and then be able to just storm in like floodgates with the cav and take out the artillery pieces one after another. We got the artillery crew now charging in as well for Great Britain. Uh, we got the Black Watch who formed up here. This is where they make their last stand against the invading uh, French. And uh, the house here still has troops in here. Uh, oh, what is this? Is this, a, is this a charge from the foot guard leaving that defensive building? And they're going to take on the old guard. So what happened is that they were stationed in this building. We were not able to take this, so he decided to leave the building and charge the old guard. I assume that he used up all of his ammo. And then real quick, let's look at what's going on with Prussia over here. Prussia is still advancing, getting ready to take this hill. Uh, I, I believe we're going to try to reform the artillery and try to focus it down this way. But actually, look at this, guys. We got the Dragoons charging in, still trying to take out our artillery position. Which is a good objective to try to take out. I believe, yes, this is my general. Even though my general is dead, the bodyguard are, start, are trying to seek revenge for him. And there goes the Dragoons. Fantastic. We were able to hold them off. But unfortunately, we have another fresh unit of Dragoons taking out my 12-pounder artillery. This was very, very unfortunate because I wanted to use canister shot against those Prussians. Uh, but now Prussia's moving up his land veer, and he should be able to um, do some pretty heavy damage to what is left of our artillery position. We don't really have a lot of uh, infantry over on this side. So let's head over back to the intense fighting over here where the Black Watch are getting surrounded by Cav and infantry. So the 42nd Black Watch, Carabiners doing some damage. Those kilts right there, those glorious green kilts. And look at this, this is the uh, Duke of Wellington. He realizes that things are different, these are desperate times and he's gonna try to charge in and turn the tide of battle. You can see him right there leading the charge, there he goes. There he goes, a nice cap fight. Yeah, there's definitely some pretty epic cap battles or uh, cav uh, skirmishes in the Battle of Waterloo. So it's kind of, let's watch Duke of Wellington here uh, do some uh, nice saber work. Oh, what's going on here? What are you looking at? <laughs> what are you looking at? Don't mind me, I'm just trying to watch the battle. Uh, but yeah, they're greatly outnumbered. We also have the Earl of Oxbridge in this fight. Forgot to show you him. And more and more French forces. Looks like he's going to try to storm this building. This is like the last defensive building. And this this foot unit has been fighting for so long. The entire battle has been fighting a very intense melee. But soon they are about to be uh, surrounded by the old guard. And that is one unit that you do not want to face in melee. Because they will destroy your dreams. And there we go. The general has been slain. Uh... Was that Duke, Wi Duke of Wellington? Yes, it was. It was. So he is dead on the battlefield, guys. Uh, so there was no way he was going to turn this uh, cav battle around. They were just completely outnumbered against some very elite cav forces. And now Prussia is beginning to push on this side. Uh, I What I decided to do with my artillery, I actually decided to get them out of there and go to this hill. And then I'm going to use this hill to fire at the Prussians. But check this out, guys. He's using canister shot. He's trying to use canister shot on the Landwehr that are charging his position. Let's see if he can get another volley here. Come on, guys, please, real quick. Really fast. Let's see. Oh, they stopped charging. The musketeer stopped charging. So he might get a chance to pull we off some. Uh, oh, we killed another general. No, they must break. Whose general was that? I don't know, but I don't want to leave this spot right here. There we go. The musketeers and the land veer are firing down on the artillery, a cheval position. Oh, yes. And he's forming square. Why is he forming square? I do not know. That is a terrible formation. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. I see. We've got some French lancers who have returned, who, who charged the land veer, which unfortunately the land veer cannot form square. And he's going to go ahead and charge the artillery position, which is a good idea. You know, try oh, oh, that canister going right over their heads. Oh, there we go. That didn't go over their heads. Oh, it took out like five guys right there. Very unfortunate. That canister shot is absolutely brutal. So Prussia 
now finally able to take out the French artillery, except for mine, of course, because I was very sneaky with it. I'm going to go ahead and unlimber up here, or at least try to unlimber. And now this is what's left of the French infantry. And it's all down to this. We got to take out the Prussian lines here. And it's going to be pretty close. Look at that balance of power. It's pretty much even. Our, our French infantry is very tired, very uh, depleted. So, you know, the Prussians are pretty fresh. They, you know, they're, I think they traveled a pretty far, you know, distance. But they haven't really seen a lot of action. So let's see if the, the French here can save the day and uh, change history. And Napoleon can win uh, the Battle of Waterloo. This is what's left of my general's bodyguard, by the way. And I was going to be really sneaky with them and get behind the artillery. But unfortunately, uh, the uh, Prussian general here, the field gen general, is uh, watching over. Gebhard von Blucha. Blucha. Alright, so the old guard, they're uh, stuck in a, in a melee. Uh, we do have some lights. It looks like he's going to either charge them in or use them as meat shields as we engage la the Landveer. And the Prussians, they don't have to attack us because we are the attackers. If we're going to win this battle, we have to take them out. So that is why Prussia is holding this defensive position. Oh, there goes my men over there. The, uh, the Prussian general was, was attacking what was left of my uh, general's bodyguard. There we go. Come on. There we go. Fire back. Fire back. Oh, look at that. They're doing a little dance. We will, we will rock you. There we go. He's going to charge in. Artillery. That was my artillery. I feel special. That's all that's left of my army. Uh, so I'm going to try to fire down on the Landwehr position. And then we have more French forces. It looks like he's going to form up in this kind of angle. The, uh, the old guard here firing down and taking out a lot of the Landwehr. So can the Landwehr hold? Can we break the old guard? I don't know. That's a pretty strong position. Look at this. He's falling back his musketeers. He's leaving the Landveer high and dry. Why is he doing that? I do not know. But, oh, their morale is breaking. Look at the, oh, the officer is like, hold, men. Hold. Here comes the French. Vive la France. Go in there, men. Come on. The old guard. It's like taking a sledgehammer to a sheetrock. <laughs> and here comes uh, what's left of the uh, Lancers who are going for the artillery. And I think... Oh, Ney is over in here too. So watch out, Ney. I don't want to lose you on the battlefield. Especially not Napoleon either. Did Napoleon die, by the way? I don't think so. I do not think so. Oh, nice. Good shot in the uh, Grenadier Cheval. Come on, get in there. Uh, looks like they were going to go charge there. The Musketeers are falling back, and this is the last of the Prussians. So I think it's safe to say that the, the Old Guard should be able to uh, charge in and finish the job. And this is the last stand of the Prussians, the last charge. Let us enjoy this epic bayonet charge. Let's go ahead and get rid of the minimap here. Here we go, guys. Old Guard going in against the Musketeers. Boom. A little bit more challenging compared to the Landveer, but not that much more challenging. Here's the uh, the epic battlefield and the conclusion of the Battle of Waterloo. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. That is going to be it. Uh, very, very fun fight. Very fast-paced for a Napoleon battle. You know, very intense fighting near the building, the defensive buildings, which are always tricky to take. I lost a lot of good men. This is my army right here. I actually got the least amount of kills, 350. So I kind of used my army as a meat shield for Napoleon's forces, which, by the way, Emperor Napoleon getting 1,066 kills. Unfortunately, you cannot see the player names, like the Steam names. So I just want to give a big shout-out to all the players involved in this if you were in this battle you know be sure to let people know in the comments it was a it was a great battle guys i really enjoyed this one uh, i actually played this one i played a, a waterloo battle before this one and i actually did a lot better with the same army but it wasn't even a close battle so that's why i decided to upload this one also we changed history in this one so i think that's really cool uh but good game to all players duke of willington getting a ton of kills 1275 the most kills there uh lord oxbridge getting 216 the least amount actually no wow wow prussia only getting 135 and prince william of orange getting 407 so we can look at the unit stats here 
my Fusiliers of Line getting 115 kills, Grenadiers of Line getting 58, they were the ones that charged into the house, my Lights getting 51, and my Artillery not doing that great, but you know, they did their part, and I really enjoyed this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to play the Battle of Waterloo, just get some friends. You don't have to do a 4v4, you can do a 2v2, or I believe a 1v1, I think. Uh, but I also want to mention a great movie, which I think it's called just waterloo or the battle of waterloo is made in like 1977 fantastic movie it has fantastic quotes that i quote all the time with uh, my friends that have seen it with me uh very very great movie that was back when they had like thousands of extras authentic uniforms it was just you could tell they worked extremely hard on that movie and you, you just don't see that as often you know cg is great and all but you know sometimes you just feel the grittiness of the if, when you actually use you know extras which i understand it's more expensive and stuff but uh, be sure to check out that movie guys because it is fantastic. So thank you guys so much for watching It means a lot to me. Be sure to leave a like a comment Maybe talk about something about Waterloo Let's just make this a Waterloo day and of course if you haven't subscribed be sure to uh, subscribe for more epic battles So thank you guys. I'll see you next time